Welcome to the 2015 NCHA Great American Insurance Group Summer Spectacular. We just had the final of the John Deere division of the Derby and I'm with the winner, Walt Irwin, who rode Rosie Boonsan and marked the magic score of 219. Congratulations, Walt. Thank you. Now, 219 has been one of the most common scores that people have won on at this show. Did you realise that? No, I did not. Are you superstitious at all? Do you have yeah, any lucky very, charms? Uh, we're very superstitious. We wear certain shirts to show in the finals and go rounds. And yeah, we like... My wife wraps everything the night before we show it. Nobody else is allowed to wrap them. It, yeah, we're very superstitious. Well, it worked for you then? <laughs> yeah, it, it worked perfect. How does it feel for you right now? Oh, it's great. I mean, I love showing in this building. Uh, I was a reserve world champion showing pleasure horses in here as a youth kid, so this is one of my favorite arenas to show in. So you came in with happy, confident feeling to, yeah. to show tonight? Yes, very much so. So um, tell us about the horse, Rosie Boonsan. Uh, we bought her in March from Ben Roberson, and... Uh, Ben had told us she was a pretty good amateur horse, thought there was more in there than what he had found yet, and he wasn't wrong. I mean, she's a great open horse. The barn name is Alice. Yeah. Um, Tell I'm us about sure. that. I'm not sure what they called her when we bought her in March, but she's by Boone Sand, which is Alice Walton Stallion, and out of a mare named Stylish Rosie, which I remember watching Eddie Flynn show her when I first got started cutting, and she was a great mare, so we changed her name to Alice real quick. What were you thinking when you were going through your run? Give us a blow by blow. Uh, you know, we as I crossed the timeline, one of my favorite cows settling was standing right on top. So we just walked in and cut her. Uh, mare stops excellent. She gets to the bottom of the stop and holds it. And everything just kind of went from there. I quit the first cow. A gray cow we liked was on the corner, along with the cow that had acted good on Patrick's run, which he was the first horse. And they walked up, whichever one went to the best spot is the one we cut. And we cut the gray cow that we liked settling and chipped off the top and finished our run. Well, it was perfect because you were second out, so you really had your choice of cows. Yeah, I mean, we, we had our favorites still there. Uh, Patrick cut our very favorite cow very first thing, which he's supposed to do. But, I mean, being second, we had plenty. Now, um, you had um, probably a moment where you had to untie, undo your top button because uh, Scott Ray came out second to last and was looking pretty good there and in the end ended up with just a half a point behind you. What were you feeling? Uh, we were for sure he beat us, but I would be fine with that. Scott's one of my best friends in the industry. And we've been working out of his place ever since July the 8th when we got here for this show. So it, it's great to finish 1-2 and be working out of the same arena every day. Now, you've got the semi-final of the Derby coming up. What's your game plan there? Uh, you know, my game plan tonight was to go down there and not mess anything up for Friday, not override. So they marked her 19 tonight. We're going to try to do exactly the same thing. Well, good luck with it. All right. Thank you. Thanks.